Lord, hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Oh, that man will praise thy Lord. Oh, that man will praise thy Lord. For his goodness and for his wonderful one. To the children of men, to the children of men. For his goodness and for his wonderful one. To the children of men, to the children of men. He has broken the gates of brass. And caused the pass of iron is under. He has broken the gates of brass. Hallelujah. children of men, to the children of men, for his goodness and for his wonderful works, to the children of men, to the children he of men, he has broken the gates of Hallelujah. and caused the pass of iron in thunder, he has broken the gates of brass, and caused the pass of iron in thunder, he has broken the gates of brass, Hallelujah. and caused the pass of Hallelujah. He has broken the gates of brass and caused the pass of iron. He has broken, he has broken. He has broken the gates of brass. Hallelujah. And caused the pass of iron in thunder. He has broken the gates of brass. Hallelujah. And caused the pass of iron in thunder. Most I reign it, the most I reign it, the most I reign it in my life today. The most I reign it, the most I reign it, the most I reign it in my life today. Say another class. The most I reign it, the most I reign it, the most I reign it in my life today. The most I reign it, the most I reign it, the most I reign it in my life today. Twala ya mama. Jesus, oh, you never make me bow. Nani gigara nile ala botro gulata. Jesus, oh, you never make me bow. Nani gigara nile ala botro gulata. Jesus, oh, you never make me bow. Nani gigara nile ala botro gulata. Oh, my God. 
say this loud and clear. Oh God, our Lord, our Lord, can you say that loud and clear? Shout it again loud and clear. Our let my story change. Jackie, Tommy, you pada. In the name of Jesus. Ni oruko Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Lie no left. Stop. Badura fun you pada it twenty. Masandi rebo ya kapota shudaria. In Jesus' name we pray. After this next prayer, someone is here. A miracle that will shock and surprise your doctors will happen to you. Maybe you didn't hear what I said well. But a miracle that will shock your doctors and surprise them. You. After this prayer, the power of mysterious affliction. Can you allow your voice to roll oh, like and Jack here will okay. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the power of mysterious affliction. But party Mysterious Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Thou crystal ball. Thou mirror of darkness. Thou Can you shout those two things loud and clear? <laughs> this prayer is for somebody who is not praying yet. Can your voice be loud? Thou mirror of darkness. Thou mirror of darkness. A sign against me. See one year, Lord, you see me. Kata! Etuka! In the name of Jesus. Ni oruko Jesu. Scatter their crystal balls. Scatter their mirror. Fuwa wuji di waka. Tuu di di waka. Let their crystal ball explode in their faces. Deke a wuji di waka. Fuwa wano ju. In Jesus name we pray. Ni oruko Jesu la badura. Father, we thank you for this day. Baba, do pele wa in for joy. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Eba ope wa ni oruko Jesus. Father, give us deep knowledge. Efu wa ni oyeto jine. In Jesus' name we pray. Ni oruko Jesus. In loud amen. Oh, amen. To le lo nguru. Let's have a seat. God bless you. E jo we je kajo kolu wa yo buku fun wa. We are looking at what I call confronting the spirit of Belial. Confronting the spirit of Belial. And if you like, you can say Belial if you like, but it's the same thing. I just want to go into the scriptures and show you the characteristic of this spirit and how to confront it. And how to deal with it. It will be a tragedy. If you have the knowledge of a situation. And you do not use your knowledge to save yourself. Confronting the spirit of Belial. In Deuteronomy chapter 13. Deuteronomy chapter 13. If there is any spirit we need to confront head on. 
This is a major one. Deuteronomy chapter 13 from verse 13 if you are there say yes Deuteronomy 13 13 let's read verse 13 and 14 together let's go certain man Amen. 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 The children of Belial are gone out from among you. And have withdrawn the inhabitants of the city. Saying, Let us go and serve other gods. Which ye have not known. Keep that at the back of your mind. In Judges chapter 19. Judges 19. Verse 22. Judges 19, 22. Now, Nje. as they were making their hearts merry, they want to share Behold, the men of the city, certain sons of Belial, beset the house round about and beat at the door and spoke to the master of the house. The old man saying, Bring forth the man that came into the house that we may know him it is the spirit of belial in first kings chapter 21 first kings chapter 21 look at it in verse 13 first kings Chapter 21, verse 13. We're looking at confronting the spirit of Belial. First Kings, chapter 21, verse 13. And they are coming to men, children of Belial, and they sat before him. And the men of Belial witnessed against him. Even against Naboth. And he see Naboth in the presence of the people saying, Naboth did blaspheme God and the king. Then they carried him forth out of the city and stoned him with stones that he died. These men carried false witness against a man who owned his property. They came to bear false witness against the man whereby that man was stoned to death. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6 we are Corinthians 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Corinthians KG, Yuri Kefa. Look at what it says in verse 15. I want to so ni eseke dugun. And what concord had Christ with Belial? Or what part are either believed with an infidel? What agreement are the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them. I will walk in them. I will be their God. And they shall be my people. Beloved. There is a powerful spirit that is really addressed. That has turned men upside down. It is the spirit of Belial. Belial means worthlessness. Belial is It means valueless. 
It means useless. It means despicable. It means wickedness. It means evil. It means ungodly. It means good for nothing. It means cheap. It means cheap. And vile. Belial is a ruling spirit of wickedness. A powerful principality. With a host of demons under it. That operate under his command. And from the few passages we've read, there are plenty of more passages, but those are the four we want to read. In the first one, the men with the spirit of Bela said they should go and serve other gods. In the second one, men with the spirit of Bela wanted to rape a fellow man like themselves. In the third place that we read, men with the spirit of Bela were bearing false witness which led to the death of somebody who properly owned this property. In the fourth place that we read, God said, you should have nothing to do with them. So there is no agreement at all between the children of God and Belial. It is a ruling spirit of wickedness. But from reading these passages, and from other passages about Belial in scripture, we were able to understand the characteristic of this strong man which has captured people and which we don't sometimes pay attention to. And in a strange boiling here like this, this spirit will be manifestation. For which purpose we need to start re-strategizing our prayers. And we need to pray certain prayers, maybe the kind of prayers we've not been praying before. The kind of prayers that some people will hear and say, this is wickedness. How can they be praying this kind of prayer. But there is no gentle way of arresting wickedness. Every method to arrest wickedness is valid. That's why I'm praying for somebody here. The plan of the wicked for your life. The plan of the wicked for your family. The plan of the wicked for your career. The plan of the wicked for your children shall be buried in the name of God. That amen is not loud enough. The spirit of Belial it causes men and women to commit sins that are abominable. Abominable sins. Abominable sins. There are two cases that I'm handling now. Father slept with daughter. Baba, oba Daughter now has a baby from our own father. How do you resolve an abominable iniquity like this? It is the spirit of Belial that pushes men to do abominable iniquity. The spirit of Belial also draws men away from the living God to idols. Many of our modern day men are chronic idol worshippers. 
Many of our present day Christians are chronic idol It is not when you bow down to Amadiora, to Shongo, to Gun that you are an idol worshiper. No, a lot of people worship money. Some worship jewelries. Some worship food. Some worship sex. Anything you put before God and beside God is an idol. It's an idol. Anything you put before God or beside God is an idol. So, a lot of our generation, they are actually idol worshippers. And it will be a tragedy to get to everyone and they say, you can't enter here because you're an idol worshipper. I say, but uh, I did not worship the idol in my village. I say, yes, you are worshipping more than the idols. Yes, you are worshipping more than the idols. 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 The Bible says, when the love in your heart is not the love to God, you are an idol worshiper. And plenty of idol worshippers are. Some worship their skin. Some worship their property. Some worship their cars. Some take more care of their cars than their personal spiritual life. The person should be told point blank that you are an idol worshiper. And this is a strange phenomenon. That a man can spend the whole of his efforts in what will not move his life forward. It is the power and spirit of Belial. From the living God to idols. The mountain of fire and miracles ministry is a church that believes in holiness within and without. And we don't allow people to dress any hour. We don't allow people to come to our church and dress any way they like. Because a lot of people are already in trouble without those kind of dresses. Those kind of dresses will then lead them astray more. The spirit of Belial leads men astray. make them follow worthless things. Worthless things. What doesn't have any value. Is what they will be pursuing. They forget seek ye first the kingdom of God. And righteousness and other things shall be added. They run after worthless things. Things that will be useless immediately. The Lord said, that's alright, come out. Come the spirit of Belial seduces men and draws them away from the Lord. The spirit of Belial causes people to be selfish and stingy. Just, just keep hoarding things. You hoard clothes, you hoard book, you hoard money, you hoard all kinds of things. It's the spirit of Belial. The spirit of Belial causes family disruption. The spirit of Belial brings people under the bondage of addictive sins. It makes people addicted to things like alcohol, cigarettes, and all kinds of addictions. The spirit of Belial makes believers to continue to live in sin and pretend to be holy. They pretend that they are holy, whereas it's a lie. The spirit of Belial leads God's servants astray. And I tell you the truth, a lot of pastors are just missing the road. The spirit of Belial pretends to be holy, whereas it's a lie. 
promotes lack of mercy and compassion. And plenty of that around now. No mercy, no compassion. The spirit of Belial promotes greed and gluttony. promotes greed and gluttony. The spirit of Belial causes a person to be accusing others of the very sin in his own life. Unfortunately, once the spirit of Bela moves into a life, a family, and environment, it tears down the protective spiritual wall around the person. The wall of fire that God has built around the person, this spirit has the power to pull it down if you allow it to come inside. And pray that anyone here being caged by this spirit will be released by fire in the name of Jesus. Let that amen be loud and clear. The spirit of Belial promotes unexplainable fear and may cause people to be swallowed in an unreasonable flood of fear. Some are so scared, they're so afraid. The spirit of Belial is a wicked lying spirit that plots to steal and to destroy. Getting believers who speak the truth now is becoming a real commodity. You find Christians taking telling lies as a simple thing, just tell lies. And it's a tragedy. The spirit of Belial is that spirit that convinces people that they have incurable disease and that they will never get well. Convince the person that this thing will kill you, you will not get well. Because it's a wicked spirit. The spirit of Belial is the spirit behind the corruption the crookedness and the worthless lies that we hear. The spirit of Belial is the one responsible for marital destruction. The spirit of Belial causes men to act without conscience. No conscience. And once that consciousness is gone, the consciousness is said like all time that the consciousness is defiled. Then the spirit of Bela moves in and causes unspeakable wickedness to happen. Everyone has a conscience, but this spirit can neutralize the conscience before seducing the person to commit sin. This, the spirit of Belial is the spirit responsible for abominable sexual perversion. It is wrong. When a woman is dressed like a man, a man is dressed like a woman. The spirit of Belial is one responsible for prostitution. And pornography. If you do not address this thing, the Bible terms the person to a child of Belial. And if we do not bring it to order, it has the capacity capacity to confuse capacity to make somebody disobedient to God capacity to push a person into what the person should not be pushing to capacity to make a believer backslide capacity to even make a person blaspheme 
the name of the Lord. Because it's, it's a shameless spirit. And highly deceptive. Focus to confronting the spirit of Belial. Focus. Number one. We must attack the spirit with acidic aggression. We must attack the spirit with acidic aggression. It's not the spirit you joke with. Because the, the demons under him are so numerous and so wicked. You must attack it. Two, you must separate yourself from this spirit. Separate yourself from the spirit. The Bible says you have nothing to do with it. Separate yourself from the spirit. Three, you must guard your heart. The Bible says. Guard your heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Whatever you are doing, guard that heart. With all diligence. Then number four, lose yourself from the curse of Belial. Because once the person allows the Bible to term him or her as a child of Belial, the person comes under a curse. So all the disobedience, uncleanliness, adultery, infirmity, rape, Rebellion. Prostitution. Irreverence in the house of God. Alcoholism. Immorality. Apostasy. Backsliding. Drug addiction. False teaching. Fornication. Blasphemy. Confession. Lawlessness. Pornography. Shamelessness. Lost. Deception. And heresy. Hardness of heart. Sexual impurity. All the filthiness. Lying. They are all children of this strong man called the spirit of Belial. One, you must attack it. Two, separate yourself. We must look at you and know that you are serving the living God. You are dressing the way your outlook must be different from those who are serving the devil. You must guard your heart. Then lose yourself from the curse of Belial. And this is what we need to confront here. Rise up on your feet now. And let your voice roar like fire and like thunder. In this prayer that I want you to pray. The prayers may not make sense to you to start with. But if something is happening in the spirit realm. All eyes closed. This day. Learning. Understand that spiritual warfare is fought with forces that you cannot see. But it's fought in faith. And it gives us breakthrough. With a loud voice, you will first of all address your own household. Power of Belial! In my father's house, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. (laughs) 
This is a prayer you have to pray from your heart. Gura to lati balati mo kore wani. Jesus name we pray. Ni oruko Jesus. The power of Belial. Agbara Beliali. Troubling my star. Turn your eyes away. In the name of Jesus. Ni oruko Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus' name we pray. Altars of Belial. Assigned to trouble me. Can you shout it loud? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Altars of Belial, Pepe Belial, assigned to trouble me. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Jesus name we pray. Ne oruko Jesus lagbadura. This next prayer. Adura to kan yi. We have to pray three times. Aogba ni emeta. But the three times. Sugba emeta ta aogba yi. We bring seven different miracles to pass. Yo mu ise iya nu meji ototo wa. Number 1. Ekini as we start praying these prayers, be about to receive badura no. In the process of the prayer, ni be adura no tin lo. I didn't say when we finish you. Mo ni taba pari adura o. An evil tree, igi bi igi buburu, growing in somebody's compound. Ton dagba ni nu ogba inyo kong. The tree is a coven. Igi oja adu anwa je. It will dry up. Agbe dan. Why we are yet praying here? Be atim badura no lo. As we are praying this prayer, be atim badura yi. There are people who have been dreaming of sitting for examinations. Ah, when young one in third year, one man la lakpa one job of it don't work. And you don't understand what it means. Oh yo, see ye ye on to too much. Means the enemy is arranging tribulation for you. Eh, yani ko atanche to ik maju funi ni. Those dreams shall be cancelled. Bobo, ah, one la la o fagile. As you pray this prayer, will be atim badura yi. Anyone there, anyone there battling with incurable disease. Eh, ne kani ni ton kojo. All of a sudden, you feel a drop like dew falling on you. And go tomorrow and check. The infirmity will have gone back to the sender. Because the Bible says, I will not put upon you any of the diseases of the Egyptians. But I will put it on the bodies of those that hate you. And to pray this prayer, there are people who have received some discouraging. News. By the time you finish praying the prayer, the discouraging news shall be converted to miracles. As you pray this prayer, there is someone here. You will have what is known as unbelievable promotion. This this next prayer we're going to pray. As we pray this prayer, so the powers that have been removing good things from people's lives, their hands shall wither. As we pray this prayer, so those who have been attacked by swallowing serpents, I want you all. I am a joking, being commenting, could you just see? In their dreams, those serpents are dry up. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? And we are praying hot times. Serpents and scorpions of Belial. My life is not your candidate. I am in the name of Jesus, you are Open your mouth and declare. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray. Something is happening now, you know, I told you. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number three. Open your heart and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence now. Perfect silence. Everyone is at work. And is working on behalf of so many people here. Silence. The woman taking your name to the coven centers has been disgraced. Silence. As prophecies for somebody here. A strong man. Assigned at the gate of your business. Pushing away prosperity. Has been buried completely. Thank 